it's Jane here. I'm up at the plot and as you can see I am um, in the company of, let's have a look, Edith up in the chicken coop because today what we're going to try and do, I say we, that's because we've got Mike to hand over there and I really don't think I'm going to be able to do it on my own um, but we're going to try and put them a nice perch somewhere in this area here. Now I've got to admit this isn't my idea at all. There's probably so many places all over Tinternet that you can uh, look up how to do far better than this. But I must admit I've been wholly inspired by Danny over at the Grapevine allotment because he put a video up the other day where he was sitting in his chicken run and he just had a fantastic perch right next to him um, that's proven to be really popular with his chickens. So I asked him about it and bless him he got back to me and said just give it a go. So today we're going to have a look around. I'm going to come clean with you now. We haven't got anything together at the moment other than we've brought up the cordless screwdriver. So we're going to have a little mooch around and just see what we can find um, that we can cobble together a little perch in. So yeah, let's have a look. Okay, just for a bit of context here, this is the part that we're thinking of uh, putting the perch. Look, it's typical, isn't it? They're all just off camera. But um, it's quite a big area. It gets full sun in the summer and they love doing their dust baths and things here. Also, try not to swing the camera too much. It has got a roof, so it's quite nice and protected. But practically, here we are, I'm trying not to stand on a chicken. We've got an upright there and our next upright is about eight foot away here. Then we've got this horizontal piece. So unless we manage to get, say, a nine foot rustic branch <laughs> that we can put across here, we're really going to have to put our thinking caps on and uh, see what we can do to support a perch. So yeah, let's go for a rummage. Okay, someone's put their streamer on, which is always the case, isn't it? But right, okay, up here, is where we've, whenever we do any pruning or anything, if it's too thick to go on the compost pile, everything just sort of gets, I'm going to use the word dumped, because that's the truth, dumped here, and I like to think that we are doing the, um, the small creatures a favour by giving them extra habitat, but really it's just a good place to dump it. But what we have got hmm, is part of the damson tree, I think it was, that we cut down last year and although that might be a good length obviously once you take all these sticks off it's not really very thick I think the ideal um, width for a roost is between like two to five inches and they like to have something to put their their little claws paws what did you get to Feet! That's right! Feet! They like to have something to grip with their feet, so we don't any, want anything with right angles, which clearly you're not going to have with a branch. But yeah, that's a... Mm, not very good. And I can see at the back... Here we go. I can see at the back here... Oh, they're right over the other side. We have got... Ideally, look, this is what Danny's got. He's got something like this, and it looks really nice. Look, it's really, really rustic looking, you know, I don't know, quite strong, maybe a bit on the small side, certainly too small to go in that area that we've got, but again, possibility. So that's going over there. And then other than that, we have got another bit actually, that could go with it. If we could join them somehow, that might be a good idea to span the, the width that we've got. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's too wide. That's too wide. But yeah, but Mike has actually come up with a really, really good idea concerning uh, something that we've been trying to get out of the allotment ever since we took it on. And it's just too big to put in the car, to be honest. So it's something that's been up here. I'm looking at it now. I'll show you in a minute. Um, that we really, every year, we say we're going to have to saw it apart so we can get rid of it. But it's funny how these things come in, isn't it? Because Mike's just pointed out that it might be a really good idea to use in the run, and he's going to tell you how. 
Well, my plan is to try to use this old um, lab table base to make a little climbing frame, 70s adventure playground style, for our chickens. And furthermore, what I intend to do is to take little pieces of wood like this, which are interesting shapes and sizes, and I'm going to attach them to parts of the frame to see if I can come up with a working chicken adventure playground. So what are going to have to do first? We're going to have to see if that fits, aren't we? First of all, we're going to have to see if this actually fits inside the pen. Okay, we've managed to wangle our way into the coop in spite of five little feathered friends getting in the way. So what we're going to try and work out, we want to try and put it in this corner here where Mike is and of course all the chickens are. You realise Mike that every time you move the, the mud like that they're going to want to scratch your neck. I'm trying to flatten it and they're trying to scratch <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, you need to do. Come here. They're not going to do that. You've just got to show them something else. Right, I'm going to distract show the chickens. Show them something else. A trick? Yes. <laughs> there, no. There. I've moved a bit of wood. There you go. Right, okay. They love it down here. So, we're going to try and get that over there, are we? We're, we're going to stand this. Flatten it. We're going to stand it and twist it round. What are you going to so, stand yeah, it? Yeah, so you're going to stand it up. Why? I'm going to show you in a second. Okay. Right, we're going to stand it yeah. and we're going to turn it like this. Okay. Turn it all the way around. Right. Right. Oh, we stick the mesh now. Just put it down the ground for a second. So lift your head higher. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to try and turn it. Good. And now we're going to put it down the ground. I do feel like I'm just going around this. Put it down the ground. Down the ground. Don't, okay. don't get yourself caught. <laughs> well, chicken that's, run. that's nuts. Push it. We're going to push it in there into this side, isn't it? Yeah. Like this. Oh, I see. Like this. This is what I was trying to flatten it out slightly. I wasn't going to put it that way, then. Right? Push it in around the corner. Okay. There. Good. Like that? Yeah. 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 I think that's far enough though. Or, 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 or a couple of bricks there, yeah. Just because it'll just lift it up a little bit. We could have done it with a spade actually. There you. This is, <laughs> okay. this is the bit you don't tend to see in professional video making, but this isn't a professional oh, video. Hello! Yes, it's a bit of wood. It's a bit of wood. Yes. <laughs> Are you alright in there, Mike? Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> Are they helping? They're really, really helping. Actually, very good. Good birds. Okay, so here we've got our nice rustic branches. And over there, we've got a rusty old frame we've been dying to get rid of for years. And now all we've got to do it's work out a way of putting the two together. How's that going to go, Mike? Well, <laughs> very well. Chicken's very own jungle gym, adventure playground, climbing frame, whatever you like to call it, but ultimately completely free um, perching station. So, yeah, the branches were from things we found around the plot. The frame was something we've been trying to get rid of. Even the string we've used is from last year's bean pole. So. Now all we've got to do, you can see how popular it is with them, <laughs> is to get them. Where are they? They're over here. Look, they're having none of it. All we've got to do now is encourage them to climb with it. There we are. <laughs> when all else fails, food is the best form of persuasion. Good old Scratty up there trying it out first of all and she, she's the top hen so once the others see what she's up to or they're gathering at the base now they'll soon want to be up there so yeah 
I'd say that's a, a success. So uh, I expect to see in videos to come, we'll probably end up decorating it with all sorts of stuff. But uh, for now, I hope it's given you a little bit of, maybe a little bit of inspiration to go out and find some things in your garden and see what you can put together. Okay, bye for now. Ha, 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 ha.